Does that happen with young guys too? I mean, so obviously both those guys were experienced running those plays. Oh yeah, I mean the one thing about it, you know, playing running that inside back screen, you gotta, you know, not that they're scared of it, you know, but you, Run the risk you gotta go, go back through there, you know. But I mean, it's, you know, the, the situation that 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 we're in that we have to do is, you know, however it is, whatever we're calling, you know, we gotta protect the ball and execute. That's what it really boils down to: protecting the ball and executing. You know, no matter what the play calls are. Um, Saturday, you meet with guys, and, and I don't know. From what I understand, it's kind of a normal thing. Like, how, how are things going? What do you like? What do you don't like? You know better than I do. But from what I understand, it was all pretty positive, reinforcing like things are going good. Coach, we just got to get better. I mean, you know, from 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 my guys, uh, you know, especially the young guys with with Javon and David is, you know, it's it's. You know, the first thing I told them after the game, I was like, you didn't lose the game. I mean, you didn't win the game, but you didn't lose the game. And, and uh, you know, it's one of those things to where, you know, you're expected to make, you know, to make play. So, I mean, that's what we got to keep, you know, working on. And having Jordan and uh, the kill in the room, you know, that's a good good bond to have for the, for the young guys. And, uh, you know, we just got to continue to get better. Does Dana, I mean, does Dana vet the guys? I'm like, hey, what do you think? What would you like to add? What would you like to get rid of? Is that normal? No, I mean, as far as, you know, what our play calls are going to be, I mean, that's just one of those things where we sit in there and, and get the plays called, and then, you know, we go out and, and go to our meetings and teach them. So, you know, it's one of those things that, you know, by this time of the year, we, we know what they like to do and how they That's do good, though, right? No one wants to change it. No one's knocking down the no, gates, right? No, I mean, no. I mean, it's, you know, he's been here for when they get here. Almost five so, years now. Yeah, you know, and. You know, you always, you know, tweaking stuff and, and trying to make stuff fit what you're good at. So, you know, it's yeah. not what we're doing offensively. It's, it's one of those things to where we got to execute it. Yeah, I get you. Yeah. Which leads me to this. I'm sure you've been asked about it, but of the, the drops, how many of them are you pinning on the receivers? Look at the, maybe the D-back made a really good play on the one on Durant, but maybe Durant could have snatched it. I don't know. I mean, you know, the thing about it for me, if you, if you touch it, I mean, and firmly got it, you got to make it. Mm -hmm. You know, whether it was that a tough catch, yeah. But I mean, I've seen him hit. Like I said, his first catch was up in there, right. turning, twisting, and he caught it. Mm -hmm. You know, I've seen him make all those catches in practice. I've seen David make that over the shoulder catch. Mm -hmm. His first catch was a little bit further up, but I mean, he, it was over the shoulder, and he made it. Mm -hmm. You know, and Javon's last one. You know, it's you know, it just happens. Shelton's. You know. Did the guy tip it? Did he, I mean, uh, it? He wouldn't tell us, which means it probably did happen. I mean, it was uh, – should he have caught it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, was it a tough play? Yeah. But, you know, you're expected to make tough plays. Uh, Got to get a running game 21. And, uh, you know, the offensive line, you know, moves, moves the ball pretty well. Uh, so, really, it's just, you know, they're really balanced. Um, I'm sure all the stats and the media says, you know, you're going to throw the ball around. But, you know, they have a really, you know, balanced running game as well. Um, so, they do a good job of just – you know, not being one-dimensional, one um, so we have to cover all phases of the game this week. Obviously, the personnel are changing, but looking at these offenses, they all kind of look similar. Are you seeing some some differences between them yeah, and Baylor and TCU? And they uh, they actually they kind of they kind of implement everything. Uh, you know, they they have a little bit of Oklahoma, they have a little bit of Baylor, TCU, and they also have a little bit of, of what we run here. So, so they're different from from everybody because they have so much so much stuff they do run. Um, so, but you know, it's easy. It carries over from from game to game. So, yeah. What's the mindset at uh, defensively? Just uh, being in all these I don't know, shootout type games against yeah. high-powered offenses, uh, does it get overwhelming at a, at a certain point, or, or where's your mindset? Again? I mean, I mean, for me personally, it's you know, I don't care who we're playing. I don't care how many points. You know, we gave up last week, or, or you know, the, or the team we're going to play, they put up last week. Uh, for me, it's you know, you always go in, want to try to get a shutout. I mean, that's I think that's the mentality you have to have. Um, I know in the Big 12 is that realistic with the, the high-powered offenses. No, but um, I think this, that's how you have to prepare. That's how you have to think. Uh, you know, if you're going to settle for, all right, well, let's give them 21 points, let's give them 14 points. I think you're settling for, uh, you know, I guess failure. I mean, um, so for me, it's just. You know, we just got to play hard, play fast, you know, be disciplined, play assignment football, and everything will take care of itself. Has there been any change for you with, with different linemen playing in front of you and the shuffle that's happened there? No, not really. Uh, 
like for me personally, I mean, Kyle is, is, is mainly who's, who's been there. Um, and Darian, obviously, has, has played a little bit more um, the past couple games. Um, I'm very comfortable with both those guys in front of me um, and, and trust them to do their job, and, and they trust me to do my job. So for me, it's just, you know, just playing. What do you remember most about that kick against Texas Tech last year? Um, Coming off the field, you know, after getting Gatorade and Loogies spit at me, uh, going into the locker room. Really? Uh, going into the locker room, seeing everyone's reaction. Seeing you know, how happy everybody was. Do you see the kick go in, or is everybody busy mobbing you? No, I made, it was long, so I made sure to watch it go through <laughs> before I decided to, to celebrate. <laughs> So where is this team's sense of urgency right now? I guess uh, I'm sure you know, none of the guys seem like they're down, but I mean, do you feel like this month obviously things need to change? I mean, you know, losing four games is never easy, um, but I think for the most part, you know, we're in good spirits and uh, ready to play. Does it feel different from years past? Because you guys have had some losing streaks in the past. Does it feel different with this team? Maybe a little more older, a little more veteran? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, like you said, everyone's been through it before. You know, everyone knows how to handle situations in a more positive manner. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I think, I think you know, like I said, we're, we're in good spirits and we're ready to keep uh, pushing forward. Guys, some guys are beat up. You've been sick. You think maybe the, the guys are doing for some good breaks? Because you guys, the last few weeks have been uh, one thing after another. It seems like. Yeah, I mean, but that's football. So, yeah. so I mean, every every team deals with it. So. Are you 100 percent at this point? <laughs> no, you know, it's I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Field goals like against TCU kind of help help a little bit, right? <laughs> Definitely, you know, like, like I said earlier on in the year, you know, I attempted 51 or 54 yard field goal and, it, you know, it didn't work out in my favor. Um, since then, you know, I've, I've got, I felt better each, each and every week. So, hopefully we're going to keep building on it.